thought I'd have a quick chat about chicken keeping. Um, I Basically, to cut a long story short, chickens, this is going to offend some people, they are not pets. Yes, you can look after them like a pet, and yes, you can moddy collar them a bit, and you can wash them and show them and do all those things that you do with cats and dogs and everything else, but chickens aren't pets. They're livestock, as much as you might not like that word, they are livestock, and thus, they have to be kept in a way um, according to livestock regulations in the UK, uh, set out by DEFRA. Um, and I'd started following a few chicken Facebook pages uh, set in the UK, basically backyard chicken keeping people and people like me who have chickens on allotments and stuff and just general chicken chit chat really. But well, I was shocked that the amount of people that basically don't follow the death for rules uh, for keeping chickens. They feed them human food. One person even said that they give their chickens the carcasses left over from their Sunday lunch. As in like, they feed their chicken chicken. All right? Chickens are not dogs. They're not even mammals. They don't process food the same way we do, or dogs do, or cats do. They also shouldn't be eating chicken. <laughs> You know, I know people are probably new to chicken keeping and they probably think, you know, I can treat this like I do my Yorkshire Terrier or Cocker Spaniel, but you can't. <laughs> All right, look, and it's not, this is not like a knock at people. And I know people are going to get annoyed and I'm probably going to get given loads of abuse like I did the other day on Facebook. But do you know what? It's people that break these rules on purpose that are going to mean the end to backyard chicken keeping because there only has to be one outbreak of some strange disease caused by feeding your chickens kitchen scraps or meat or other things that eventually the government will just change the rules and say right nobody other than farmers can keep chickens no chickens in your back garden no chickens down your allotment and then, you know and then what are we going to do so it's important that we follow these rules even if you think the rules are a bit stupid even if you don't like them they're there for a reason I mean, we, we had a BSE, mad cow disease, in this country about 20 years ago, and that was because when that was because contaminated produce was getting into the food, and they were feeding cows meat and other things. And you know, if we don't want things like that to happen to chickens, okay? You know, we, these rules are there for a reason; they're to help benefit people. Um, and there's little things as well, like not using kitchen scraps because of possible contamination. You know, you. I think vegan households are fine. If you're 100% vegan, your household, they can have your kitchen scraps, that's fine. But, you know, chickens aren't supposed to have milk and dairy and all these, you know, spaghetti bolognese and all these other things that people seem to like giving them. The other one I saw was people that feed their chickens porridge. As in, oh, I, it's cold now, so I'm giving my chickens porridge for the winter. No. <laughs> it's like the quickest way to kill a chicken, you know, is to give it sloppy food that can sit in its crop and then it gets sour crop and then gets an infection and then you get a dead chicken. Trust me, I've seen it happen, you know. And don't get me wrong, there'll be people out there who say, I've always given my chickens porridge and there's never been a problem. Right? Just like the same people that go, well, my granddad or my nan used to give our chickens chicken scraps. Uh, and it's never been a problem. Yet yeah, Nan and Grandad also probably painted the cot in lead paint. They also probably smoked 60 a day. You know, they probably drunk and drove because back then people didn't know better. But now we know better. Basic science, people, you know, it's not just like a whim that's plucked out of the air by government just to annoy, you know, us chicken keepers. It's like it's done for a reason. So, so yeah, please, 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 if you're chicken keeping and or you're new to chicken keeping, do some proper research and check out what you should and shouldn't feed your chickens. Please.